This black group is in a bit of trouble. Even if black can live there. Oh, it's done. he resigned. It's done. Okay. Wow. The amazement of the commentators was obvious. The disbelief of the human champion Lee Sedol equally clear. Mr. Lee is considered one of the game's greatest modern players and went into this five game series supremely confident. But he didn't win a single match against the AlphaGo program. Even AlphaGo's creators were amazed by the result. Uh, to be honest, we're, we are um, a bit stunned and speechless. Um, Lee Sedol uh, put up an incredible fight again. Um, AlphaGo made a large territory at the bottom of the board, um, but Mr. Lee found some really amazing tactics to uh, play in the territory and create a really huge co-fight. Go is an ancient Chinese game for two players who take turns placing black and white stones on a 19 by 19 grid. Players win by surrounding their opponent's pieces. Sounds simple. But a Go player typically has a choice of 200 moves compared with around 20 moves in chess. And intuition is as important as memory, which makes conquering Go the Mount Everest of AI programmers. The AlphaGo program uses two sets of deep neural networks that allow it to crunch data in a more human-like fashion, and it learns and improves from every game it plays. Last October, AlphaGo beat the European Go champion 5-0, but this latest victory sets a whole new benchmark. The defeated champion tried to put a brave face on it, with a reassuring word for the rest of the human race. AlphaGo exhibited some weaknesses, so I doubt whether it has the skills that can actually deliver a wider message to humans. I think Lee Seddle is the one who lost today, not humanity. But with the final two games of the series still to be played, AlphaGo is only going to get better and cleverer. Paul Brennan, Al Jazeera.